Hello YouTubers, so remember that little message I was saying in the last video about me leaving town? Well, I am out of town and I'm also in Mexico. I guess what I picked up here in Mexico, I picked up another amplifier, and this is not a 70 volt amplifier, but this is a this is a PA amplifier for a car or a truck. Because guess what I also got? I got a giant horn. Not just any giant horn, but the type you, that you would screw on top of a vehicle here in Mexico. Since these are very common, I had to have one. It is just a 16 ohm horn at 100 watts. That's the maximum wattage driver they sell for this horn. So here in Mexico, you buy the body separate. The body and the compression driver are separate. You choose your driver, your compression driver you want. And you just simply just strap this on top of a on top of a pickup truck, a car. Very common out here. So I had to pick one up. And this wire here, I just brought it back from the main room at, back in the States. Not the Arizona, because that's where I live. I just took these from my qualm speakers that I got from Metro Center and I just hooked it to the back here. Now, unfortunately, I did not bring a quarter inch jack to 3.5, so I can't test it with music right now, but we will test that back at when I arrive back from Mexico. Then possibly testing it on the UTI-1. But we're just gonna do it basic because everything is basic over here in Mexico, so. So this amp could also run, this amp could run on 120 volts and it can run on 12 volts, which is what these two connectors are here. You may confuse these and think that they're your audio outputs. No, these are your 12 volt inputs. So you can run this in a vehicle and these are your speaker outputs. You got a fuse in the back for extra protection. There's a power cord. Don't mind all the mess over here because obviously this, because this is good undergoing renovations. So yeah. So I got a microphone here, just basic cheap microphone you get with the karaoke machine or something. Quarter inch jack. It's on mic one. Mic one is turned up. So I'm gonna put the set this phone somewhere so that way we could get a decent view of that horn. So, yeah. And this is a kind of mostly empty space, so it's going to echo, as you can hear. So, here we go. Pull over now. That's right, pull over. French fries. You want some free french fries, everyone? So, yeah. Pretty loud. Tell me, get your hot dogs on the corner. Get your hot dogs on the corner. So, yeah. And it could get louder, but I don't want to, you know, turn it up loud because it will kind of clip a little bit. But, yeah. I know I have a cousin here that she came on a road trip, too, over here. And, and she likes playing with this, so. And everyone else in the house is having fun with this, so, yeah. Definitely got to bring, definitely bring this back back and hooking it to the main system maybe we might maybe this might be a feature maybe we might use this in a this could feature in a new year's video when new year's rolls around so maybe i might strap this to the light post in the front yard temporarily obviously for the new year's video and this will echo the neighborhood in conjunction with the with the apf 15t horn so yeah Except it's just gonna be hooked to this amp. I might get an I might get a transformer for this though. So I can use it with the AA30 PhD or the other amps I have back 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 home. So it's 16 ohms, so I gotta find a transformer that's 16 ohms and at least 30 watts. I would say 30 watts. I don't need the hundred watts because honestly it's pretty loud the way how it is. And don't forget this is a 30 watt amp, so it's pretty loud. In fact, I could probably hook it up. I'm pretty sure I could hook it up to that radio shack amp at the house, and I think a Toa amp. 
Wait, no, I don't know about a Toa. That's right, because I don't think they don't use... I think I only have four ohms in the back, so yeah. So I'll see you guys back when I arrive home to test this with the UTI-1 and music and whatnot, so stay tuned. Okay, YouTubers, so I am back now in the, to the main room, and the horn and the amp made it all here fine, so now I got the UTI-1 over there hooked to this and I finally have a quarter inch jack adapter hooked up to it because I forgot to bring these with me so I couldn't test the music out over where I was so now so now I got everything hooked up so for right now I just took an input an output from this and I just have it injected to this and then this green jack here runs straight to that I have to leave the microphone very low because obviously that's a very sensitive output and input. So it also is meant for standard microphones, not balanced type of inputs. So I have to leave it low. So I do have this, you know, our good old AT&T hooked up here. The reason I don't have the Rowlin hooked up is because for some reason that Rowlin phone does not like the override port. It just rings and it causes this to kind of glitch all crazy, so... Yeah, that's why. Got the driver put back on. So, yeah. It's pretty loud and sensitive. And that's not even, like, turned up. It's barely turned up. Test check, one, two, three. See? Sounds good. Now it's just the music, because I'm sure you guys are getting an idea what the voice is sounding like, so... T1, this is the amp driving just dead only. And then the car for a compression driver. Bass on this too, very low end coming in here. Yeah, sounds really good. Now I'm not sure where I'll put this thing, but <laughs> but it might be a might feature in the New Year's video for 2022. Now we can hear the beat coming. So yeah, so, so there you go, and then that's the other amp you just heard right there, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my find that I brought back over, and you can tell by the dust here that it's been sitting in that store for a while, it's an electronics store, so, so yeah, stay tuned for more.